Hello, YouTube family. It's me, Miss Dana Ashley. How you guys doing? <laughs> Is it getting crazy enough for you out there yet? Is this unprecedented event wild? It's a little wild. We're going to be all right. I just wanted to make a quick video to let you guys know. Uh, while I'm actually working on a couple other videos, I think a lot of you would really appreciate a part two of sorts to my last video about the VIRUAS, um, answering some questions that came up in there, looking deeper into the contradictions we're all being bombarded with, looking at some motives in the situation, as well as looking a little deeper into the CV test itself, which I'm not seeing many people doing. So anyway, while I'm putting all this together, I came across some really quite interesting information today and i just had to share because if this is true it is stunning information and i want to get more of your eyes on it because you are the best subscribers in the world and i was thinking that you guys could absolutely help me to confirm or deny this claim that i came across today i want to get this out there so that because i have a little bit more of an audience that the person who released this maybe we can help get a real confirmation on the validity of this or not and that is this Another YouTuber had released a video, his name is Logic Before Authority, I believe his name is Daniel, where he showed some incredible claims that one of his subscribers had sent into him and he shared it with his audience. Now this person whose message he shared claimed to be a member of a school board and she was claiming that she was recently put on notice that while the schools will be shut down during this quarantine time, during the next few weeks, that private contractors will be hired to come out to many of the school districts to install brand new 5G systems. And if you haven't already heard on the last video where I talked about the impacts of 60 gigahertz frequency, just be clear, 5G is not all the same. Part of the confusion around 5G is that it's ambiguous on purpose. They call everything 5G when it's actually a huge range of frequencies. 5G is going to encompass somewhere around 5 gigahertz all the way up to hundreds of gigahertz, okay, all the way up into the terabyte ranges. So we know that 60 gigahertz, and this is what I really wanted to, to hone in on, the 60 gigahertz frequency that is ultimately the plan for the 5G network, the sort of hive mind Internet of Things network, that is the one that has very real implications and interactions on the oxygen molecule itself. What you need to know is this has not been tested by telecom at all. They've admitted that themselves, hasn't been tested on people, hasn't been tested on bees, songbirds. So it's criminal that 60 gigahertz or any actually of these millimeter waves would be released on people without finding out exactly what this interference with the oxygen molecule does to our health. What does it do to our lungs? What does it do to the air we breathe? They don't know because they haven't tested it. Anyway, I wanted to show you this uh, reciprocation that this woman had sent to Logic Before Authority. Let me just go ahead and read it so you guys can get an idea of what she said. The first thing she said was this. I work for the local school board. 5G has been getting a lot of bad press lately. The U.S. Department of Education has been wanting to roll out the 5G network in many district schools. Unfortunately, the parents as a whole would try to stop the implementation of it. So the U.S. Department of Education decided to close the schools during the pandemic. She says for two reasons. One, to make parents think it's for children's safety against a virus, and two, to install 5G networks in many district schools. 5G companies have been instructed to use the guise of a, quote, disinfecting company. Strict orders. If anyone asks your cleaning company there to disinfect the schools, do not tell anyone that you're there installing 5G. All contractors must sign a non-disclosure agreement, exclamation mark. Please help, is how she ended that. Uh, Daniel got back to her by saying, we are talking about a worldwide situation. There's nothing going on just at your school district. However, what they are doing at your school district, they are likely doing across the nation. We don't need to mention the name of your county or the name of your state, but I do need the truth. Isn't that why I am here and you are here? This is important. She followed up by saying, yes, I just texted you that there is more classified information. She put classified in quotes because obviously it's not that classified, but says, um, 
if they are doing this in my district, then they must be doing it nationwide. I also have other information I choose not to divulge, like names of contractors, dates, times, and stalls, and locations, etc. I didn't tell you nationwide. You figure that out for yourself. I have access to the U.S. Department of Education web server for my district. For some crazy reason, my login allows me to venture out of my district into other local districts and the national programs. I can't believe how many schools are going to roll out and implement the five networks in such a short period of time. Yes, it's the truth. Most of this has to be done by mid-April. The hundreds or thousands that may know it and be asleep have been notified that 5 is safe, but it has gotten bad press by the conspiracy theorists. We therefore ask you to refrain from acknowledging the public of this upgrade. We don't need parents with false fears of G in this time of the coronavirus pandemic. Basically, she's admitted that was not verbatim, but a close approximation of the email that she got. I assume it was an email, something that she logged into, whatever. Yes, please don't mention my district. Also, I'm one of a few in my state. I would appreciate anonymity. Okay, so that's not a lot of people. If this is true, there are people high up within the school boards that are elected, I guess, to positions of power within the state, uh, the Department of Education, who know about this, there's a lot of states out there, guys. I'm thinking that we need to put this out and to see if you guys can either help me to confirm or deny this. The Logic Before Authority channel is calling this a confirmation. I don't call this a confirmation until we can see some sort of reciprocation, perhaps a screenshot of the email that, that they are seeing, perhaps a list of these contractors. I would be very happy and willing to put my neck out to help someone who wants to be anonymous and to show people what they need to know about what is happening uh, potentially behind our backs that, yeah, here's the proof of it. Let's get some confirmation on this. I mean, if this is true, wow. I mean, again, if these kids come back, let's say we do go through this quarantine, the numbers die down, whatever, and then suddenly people go back and then they find that children are doing what we saw happening in China at first, people falling over in the streets. And we are seeing that the media is already foreshadowing and promoting the idea that this thing can come back after it seems to be behind you. People claim to test positive, then negative, then positive again, as well as lots of claims of mutation. Guys, we're going to do more fact checking on that in another video. We'll get much deeper into that. But when we see the media already hyping up this possibility, it would not be questioned coming back after the time away, seeing this resurgence of symptoms newly and suddenly claimed to be mutated into impacting our children. I mean, guys, I feel like if this is true, we really have a chance to prove it. And um, we shouldn't go around just saying, oh, they're going to install five while the quarantine's going on. We can't do that. I mean, I've already seen comments within YouTube of people doing that. That is not what we need to do. <laughs> we need proof, not rumors. And I feel confident that there is someone out there that confirmed this. Get in touch with me, my Dana Ashley at ProtonMail.com, D-A-N-A-A-S-H-L-A-E at ProtonMail. I would be happy to honor your anonymity. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving this up to you guys. If this is true, someone out there has also received this notification and can help us beat this by doing the right thing, getting the information to me. And so I can get it out to, to you guys in the world. I mean, what else can we do? Again, I don't want to just assume that this is true. You can't do that. If you guys um, were able to get a picture of the contractors and dates that they mentioned for installs, obviously during the quarantine, which it looks like we're all going to be facing here in the next couple weeks uh, or next week, I really don't know. It does look like it's happening. You know, the response to this is real, <laughs> whether or not the validity of the virus itself, uh, more on that later. But you guys are allowed to walk your dog during quarantine. You know that, right? If you live close to a school, hey, take a little walk over by those white vans in front of the school and see if you can get some shots of the uh, equipment that they're carrying in and out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 5G small cell towers must look a lot different than uh, cans of Lysol, <laughs> right? Anyway, you guys did an incredible job spreading the last video around, and I want you to know that that I, I just saw today, I had no idea it had so many views. My goodness, almost a million views now. 
And I want to let you know you did that. I can show you that within two minutes of this video being uploaded, the last one that I did, it was told to be not suitable for advertisers and I watched the analytics throughout and I got no views from recommended videos as you can see here. You know, YouTube lets us know where our views are coming from and as you can see here, it's not even listed as a source of traffic. So no one got this as a recommended video at all. You guys taking the time to share this one-on-one -on -one with others. Um, at first it was making rounds through Facebook now. I've been called fake is uh through facebook yay i've 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 passed a milestone here and uh it was really funny because it said uh, this is shown to be fake news because we know that non-ionizing radiation does not cause problems with human health oh really um i have a whole lot of dod and uh, military studies that would argue with that statement but I digress. Anyway, I just wanted to get this out there to you guys and see if we can help this to make the rounds. Is there actually a plan to install 60 gigahertz frequencies in our schools? If so, guys, we are the only ones that can do anything about this. We can't count on our government doing it. Can't count on Trump, sorry to say, but this is something I know that you guys have the power to do. So tag your it. God bless you guys. I love you. I hope to have some videos up for you very soon. Take care. Are you not getting notifications of my videos from YouTube? Good news, I'm setting up a new way to email you directly. Just submit your email to me at missdanaashley.com. That's M-I-S-S-D-A-N-A-A-S-H-L-I-E.com.